long time, have not seen the, the quality of life for either um, the unhoused members of our population or the housed members of our population have improved on the backs of past settlements. Um, in this particular instance, um, the settlement was strongly um, argued for by the city attorney, Mike Fuhrer. All discussions that the city council and the city attorney have had on this have taken place in private, closed session. None of the details or discussions are known. Um, and the city council last week did vote um, to uh, authorize uh, the city attorney to negotiate a settlement in this case. So, again, um, this is not, it, although it has had some articles written about it, it was in the LA Times uh, last week in advance of the hearing. Um, I, I don't think the general public is very aware of this issue, um, and um, a lot of people are concerned that the details of the settlement are unknown. So, um, we'll continue to keep you posted as we learn more. Um, but um, the city council voted uh, 10 to 2 to authorize the city attorney to settle the case. Um, the, I think those are, are my city updates. Um, oh, one other thing um, that both Taylor and I would have covered, I'll cover it now rather than in my report, um, would be uh, lot 731. Um, one of the projects um, we kind of undertook, we started digging into at the end of last year. There have been consistent um, uh, issues and problems at um, a parking lot on the southern end of our district, known as Lot 731, or if you, um, it's the lot at Maine and Pacific. Um, direct, it's on the east side of Maine. Um, there had been routine issues there with um, some large, very criminal in nature encampments. There was um, illegal tapping into city power poles there. There, were use of, there was use of a generator, including use of a generator on a float in the water that then leaked gasoline into the canals. Um, there were bike parts and bike theft. Um, there, were, there was drug dealing and in some instances prostitution occurring there. Um, so we dug into it and what we quickly discovered is that about seven different entities have responsibility for that lot. Um, and so, and they were not really talking to each other. Um, so uh, earlier this year, we were able to work with all of those entities and the neighborhood prosecutor for the area to determine, you know, legally what is allowed there, what is not allowed there. Um, and the primary area um, that the criminal encampment work was occupying is subject to ADA access. So there is an ability to enforce there. It's the public access to the boat, uh, the boat launch and the canals. So those walkways um, were routinely completely blocked um, and there were uh, periodically break-ins to uh, their two little storage units down there. One of them is used by Mariposa, which is a landscaping company that is responsible for the canal landscaping and the canal maintenance and operating the gates um, in the canals. Um, and they've been broken into a number of times over the years. Um, we were able to get um, the city power poles repaired. <coughs> they had been breaking into the base of the power poles and using those to charge electric scooters. Um, and then also in addition, some of the lights were out in that area, perhaps not accidentally. Um, we got LADWP to come out and um, repair those and also harden um, those control boxes that they were tapping into um, <coughs> discovered that in downtown Los Angeles they've had this problem and they uh, use sort of a, a, a type of epoxy to close them. For DWP in a truck with the right equipment, they are pretty easy to open that epoxy, but it's very difficult for the average person to get that open. Um, so uh, we requested that as well. Um, and thankfully, um, we have seen a much safer area there. Um, our clean team uh, is cleaning that area now. We discovered that it is part of the public right of way. Um, so we are uh, making that as well. Um, and I think that's it. That's basically the city section of the updates. You give Taylor a run for his money. Um, <laughs> and, and I want to I wanna acknowledge uh, Tara's effort in working through the city labyrinth seven agencies, it took a long time and a lot of effort, and uh, you, you did a great job along with yeah. the, um, the clean and team and the safe team. It was a group effort, mm -hmm. and uh, the bid led the way, and hopefully um, we'll continue to have a, a safe 
boat launching without environmental hazards and dumping in the canal and other sort of criminal problems that we experienced there. So thank you very much. We had a lot of we had a lot of great support and help from our uh, neighborhood prosecutor Claudia Martin, um, as well as our senior lead officer Jennifer Muther, um, and Taylor, of course, from the council office as well. All of them were involved in different ways and <coughs> to try and make that area safe for everybody. <coughs> right. Thank you. Okay, so let's move on to item four reports.